Okay, so this episode is about law enforcement reform. And really what it comes down to is since the beginning of time, we've kind of just uh, done a real primitive way of dealing with societal issues, right? So I guess uh, just so everyone kind of gets on the same page and understands uh, the intent of where we were or where we have been and uh, where we need to go in order for uh, everyone to, um, I guess, be a productive member of a society and work together to um, make everyone better and the world safer, right? So um, pretty much you got to think back to just uh, a basic like family structure, right? So in any sort of group society or family or anything like that, right? You're going to have uh, even just two people working together. Um, you're going to have different people everyone has their own individual ideas of what they think is that what should be done and what should not be done. And then when you start putting those people together and have them working together, they have to agree on things, right? And so that agreement over time, you know, um, starts to become like rules, customs, courtesies, laws, uh, belief structures, all that kind of stuff, right? So somebody's not necessarily wrong for having a different um, view, rule, belief, structure, anything like that, right? Uh, it goes over in my first episode of, you know, the whole right and wrong thing, so I'm not going to try, I'm trying not to touch up on that too much, but um, what it comes down to is people, we need to understand that everyone has their own views on what they think is right or what they think is wrong, and that makes up them as an individual. And unfortunately, some of those don't fit into other um, societies of maybe where they've grown up, or where they've lived their whole life. And they don't really have, maybe they didn't have a, a structure that instilled those um, societal views in them, right? So because of that, you know, they've done things that have benefited themselves, which isn't wrong either. Um, and that can sometimes conflict with a society's uh, views. So throughout history, there's different options that the, that individual can do. You can leave, right? You can, you can leave that area um, if you're capable, and you can go start your own society, start your own life somewhere else where you don't have to, you know, pay certain fees. You don't have to act a certain way. You can do whatever you want in that other area. And over time, that's how, you know, different uh, civilizations have started. Now, with that being said, there's not everyone has that option. Not everyone is capable, whether it might be financially or um, maybe they just don't have the, the tools necessary to do that or for whatever reason that it might be, then some, they, they are... They believe or they are forced to stay where they are and yet still have their own views and opinions that conflict with that society's views and opinions. And because of that, sometimes they end up going to jail or uh, doing things that conflict with how that society or that grouping of people run their their day-to-day uh, -day thing. And there's conflict there, right? So... You know, if that person says, I don't want to leave, you know, I want to stay here, um, I don't, you know, even though there may be places that that person can go where people think and believe and act just like that person. So ideally, that's the best situation. So if you have an individual in a group, right, and that person says, I believe this, and no one in that group believes that, the but there's another group over there that they say, oh, well, hey, that's not how we do things here, but that group over there, they do things like that. So um, as far as like turning that into a law perspective, right? And so you could have a individual that maybe does something that is against the law, right? So that they, they're, what they're really saying is, hey, I believe that what I'm doing is right, okay? And you 
in your society, you believe that that is wrong. However, I think it's right. So that society, throughout history, what they've generally done is capture that person and imprison that person because they don't want them to uh, negatively affect their society uh, different from how they do it. However, what you can do is you can take that person, right? And then you can give that person to someone who has maybe those beliefs and that structure and stuff like that. And of course, doing this, um, there's a whole bunch of arguments that you can uh, come up with, right? Uh, and I don't want to dive too much into that because that can be a tangent. Um, but when it comes down to it, the best thing for everyone is for people to do what they believe is right. And to be able to feel like they're not alone. So in order to do that, one option is uh, where you have you, your grouping, your society, your city, your town, your, your country, whatever it may be, right? You should have your, your, the people that are taking part in that, they should have the option where if they do something or want to do something that is against what everyone's common belief is of how things should be, right? So if they do something against the law, if there is another group, country, city, anything like that, that believes in that, 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 that what, the same thing they believe, they, before imprisonment, before penalties and all that kind of stuff, they should have the option to go to that other place. An example would be... Um, like drugs, right? So you have some areas where certain things are illegal and then you have some areas where certain things are not illegal. And that's, the society believes in those areas that what those people are doing is not wrong. So if somebody's in one area, whether it by, be by birth, choice, for whatever reason, and they do something that is wrong, that group should be able to say, okay, well, instead of taking you and imprisoning you and punishing you for this thing, we're going to allow you the option to go and you can live the life that you choose, the life that you believe with these other people, right? That, that should be an option that that person has. They shouldn't have to be faced with imprisonment, all right? And however, uh, now let's, let's kind of go on. So hopefully that's kind of like understood that that option should be available to anyone if you know, that is okay. And, you know, you can take that to even extremes too. Um, but uh, for the most part, that should be well understood that somebody should have the option if there is an area that they can go and believe what they believe without being imprisoned for from a different group of people, that they should have that option, right? Now, um there can be like conflicts with like, you know, if you're at war, um, that's a little bit of a different situation, right? So I'm not gonna dive into that uh, too much, right? And hopefully if we would do this structure that we wouldn't really end up into those, those war situations unless it gets to the oppression levels because that's really always what, uh, what causes uh, war is usually um, oppression where or, you know, the denial of people to live their, the, the way that they choose to. So this should um, fix that, that um, problem that leads to wars, right? Because if somebody can live the way that they want comfortably, they shouldn't have to force others to live the way as long as those people are um, peacefully agreeing that that's the way that they want to live their life, right? So... And it would be, it, this is a great way to see, kind of, you'll see if there is that happening where people, there's these laws in these certain areas that are really strict or whatever they may be, you're going to, and but they have the option for people to go to these other areas so that they're not punished. You might see that, hey, we're losing all these people because of this one law that we have, this one societal thing. Is that worth it? Is Is that belief that we have, is that worth losing all these people for and so that very well could change then how those other people view things and act right so 
Next, uh, what I want to talk about is the actual imprisonment. So, ideally, you wouldn't want people to always go and leave, right? You, you wouldn't want to lose all those people unnecessarily. And maybe it's an accident of why what the person's doing is different and punishable, right? So if that, that option should still be available. However, maybe it's not. Maybe somebody says, yeah, I made a mistake. I went against our societal norm, right? This law that we have. I went against that. And however, I understand what I did was not right, you know? And like in my first episode, if we were able to record everything, we could kind of show that person those things. You know, you know, like you made this decision. It was the wrong decision. We acknowledge why you made that decision because of the omnipresence that we have with all these, you know, like cameras and all that stuff, which if that gets confusing, and this is the only episode you watch, watch the fir my first episode. Um, but so what you could do is there shouldn't be like a prison system, right? There shouldn't be imprisonment for people that have committed crimes, right? So uh, the, the just thing to do is some fines are like financial problems, right? So like somebody steals something from someone else, right? So that should be a financial thing. That's not necessarily something that needs to be um, imprisoned for, right? So if you commit some, or if you've done something like tax evasion or like something like that, uh, that's not necessarily like a imprisonment thing because ideally what the, the problem was, was money was supposed to be given to one person and that was, that transaction didn't happen. So the just thing to do is correct that transaction, right? And, uh also to hopefully once that is that just that transaction is com completed that should ideally stop um any further transaction any further um situations like that from happening right so you should mandate that person if they they do that to fix those financial issues right and and that can be whatever it is, but imprisoning the person doesn't fix a financial um, issue of whatever it may be, theft, um, you know, not not paying certain things, which it all pretty much falls under theft, right? So um, the the next step though is some some crimes are committed and they're not, uh, a financial issue okay so some societal beliefs you know of like hey this money is owed to these people for this thing and you didn't do that so this is what you have to pay in order to just this wrong because that's that's really what it comes down to right um now some of these these things though are beliefs you're you're punishing you're imprisoning people because they have different beliefs than you right which really is oppression um, and that's, you know, I could dive all into, uh, throughout history, how, you know, that, that form of oppression, you know, whether it be through wars of taking prisoners through wars or, or um, just being the capability of being able to, um, imprison people for having different beliefs because you have a stronger group that is able to overpower this person and imprison this person or group or whatever, how, you can I can go into detail, but I don't think it's necessary. I think everyone can understand that most laws are in place because the person everyone believes a certain way, right? So you believe you know like hitting someone is wrong, for an example, right? Um, so if if a, a group of people believe hitting someone is wrong, and then one person in that group hits someone, right? So then they are going against what that, that group believes. Well, unfortunately, uh, throughout history, 
the thought is, well, let's give you time to think about that, right? So what we're going to do is we can't trust that you're going to do what we all do. So what we're going to do is we're going to overpower you and make you stay in this um, this prison, right? And, you know, I can go into detail on, like, different scenarios and all that stuff, and everyone can go into different scenarios on that, like, that person may flee, that person may cause more problems, all that kind of stuff, right? And it kind of goes into that whole idea of their belief structure. They believed what they're hitting that person was the right thing to do, even though it was agreed that nobody hits, right? And this is just an example. So, uh, commonly what people do is they imprison that person, and then it's just, it's, it's for like a time of like, okay, do, do we believe that you uh, will not, if we release you, do, are you, you're not going to commit the, do that same act, right? And, and that's the tough part. So currently there's in some places that there's, uh, you know, judicial systems or systems of judgment where people commit these, these crimes of different beliefs, right? Different beliefs in society. And, and that's what the crime is really. It's no matter what it is, it's, it's, you're, you're doing something that we as a society or that that group as a society thinks is wrong, right? So that's why you're sitting there in front of people in that society saying, this is what you did. We acknowledge that you did this. And now we need to make sure that this doesn't happen again. So that's why just placing someone in a prison system doesn't solve the issue, okay? And it's what we've been doing throughout history, and it's so that's why we're there at that point, right? And really what it comes down to, though, is we need to be able to assess when that person or how that person is not going to commit that same act. And like I said, one option would be to just send them to an area where that whole act isn't even a punishable offense because it, other people don't think, think differently, you know. So uh, you can just send them there and, and then they'll be able to live happily in that uh, area or group, you know. Um, however, if, you, if that person wants to stay there, right, then what they need to do and what the society needs to provide is a rehabilitation. There shouldn't be a prison system. There should be a rehabilitation system, okay? And that rehabilitation system should incorporate people who are able to assess whether this person is or is not going to do this act, okay? So obviously, if somebody continues and continues and continues to do something, right, and you're, they're finally discovered that, hey, what you, you've been doing something that has been against our society norm this for quite a long time, right? It's going to take longer to understand that and to really say this person is able to go back into to society. And they may never be able to in that society, right? Um, so if they want to stay there, though, there should be instead of it going to like jail or prison or something like that, right? They should go into a rehabilitation center. And that system, they shouldn't be able to incorporate, they shouldn't be able to meet with anyone else in that system, right? They should have one room that is, you know, videotaped all the time, recorded, so we know exactly how they're doing. We can monitor them and say, hey, you know, this act that you did, like that we don't want to have happen again if we allow you to come back into our group our society this thing that you did you're you're continuing to do that by yourself in this area so obviously you're not ready to go back right and you'd be able to see that we'd all be able to see it because everything would be recorded just like in the first episode now the at any time that person should still be able to say you know what, I can't, I'm not going to change my ways. I can't change my ways. Please send me, you know, I'll, you know allow me the freedom um, to go to this other area, this other group who believes that this isn't wrong because I've had the time to think about it. I've had the time to look over my actions and all this kind of stuff. And I don't think what I did was wrong. 
um, and I want to go be with these other people who believe like me. That option should always be available for people. You don't want to go into the oppression um, and imprisonment option. It's not a just thing to do. It never is. But if this person is there for rehabilitation and they really, they do, they do believe what they're doing is wrong. And, you know, in a lot of our behaviors and all that kind of stuff will take a long time, a long time uh, to change, right? Because it becomes a behavior, a habit. And that when those habits are bad, they're, they're called addictions, right? So, but if they, if they truly want to, you know, I, I, they don't want to leave maybe their family. They don't want to leave um, people that they know. They don't, they just don't want to, for whatever reason, they don't want to go to that other group, right? They want to stay where they are. And they have that desire to stay where they are and to change the way that they are going to be. That's why it should be a rehabilitation because they're, you're, we're, what you're doing, in essence, when you're sending someone to jail for a certain amount of time is you're trying to rehabilitate them into society, right? So there shouldn't be a jail system. And they shouldn't be able to meet with other people in that jail system, other prisoners, right? They shouldn't have to meet with, be with those people because they can't function in a society, in that society, correctly. So they shouldn't be able to meet with those other people in those society. If, if they're capable of doing that, if they're capable of being with someone else, you're, you're pretty much saying that, you, you're saying that they're able to be back into society, right? Or at least you're, you're, you, there's an argument that you could say, well, these people all are, you label them, you know, group them and say that they all have the same belief, you know, um, and that's what we're doing. Well, that's a lot of gray area and argument because, yes, but they're still not the same belief structure that the society has, okay? So with that, what you need to understand and address is this person's views and everything need to match that of the society they're trying to get put back into. And for some people, some people you may be able to some people you may be able to assess and look at it and acknowledge it and say, you know what? I truly believe that this person made that mistake. We acknowledge that they made that mistake. I I, we, we all believe that they're not going to do this again, that they understand that they're, you know, they, they made this mistake, they sat here, they reflected, they understand, and we believe that they're not going to make this mistake again. So we're going to let them go back into society. Now, all that would be documented, recorded, their progress, their proof that that is, they're not going to do that, right? That would all be documented. Just like everything should be recorded and tracked, Watch the episode one if that's confusing to you. Um, and so these people, when they go into, when they go back into society, just should be treated like everyone else. That's the purpose of it. There shouldn't be any, you once did this thing that was different than all of us. And because of that, we're always going to look differently on you. That should never be the case. If that's the case, then that that imprisonment, that structure that you created there wasn't rehabilitating. It was completely pointless. And they they should not be able to go back into your society if you view them different than every other every other person. So that's why it should be a rehabilitating. You're rehabilitating them back into the society. And as soon as they get once they're decided that they're able to be placed back into society and that they will not commit that offense again, then that's when they should go. And they shouldn't be treated any differently. They should be integrated back in and say, you know, they say, yes, I understood. I made this mistake. I'm not going to make it again. And they go on with their life. That's how it should be. That's that's the end of it. That's that's how it should be. And you shouldn't, if they do something again, obviously it's it's recorded that the first thing was not good. And that's when you have to look into these people that are evaluating these people back into society. That's when you have to say, you made this argument that this person was able to go back into society. And, you know, obviously you're not capable of assessing whether or not people are able to go back into society or not. And that 
is where it falls on to like unfortunately because you assess this person is able to go back that now we have to put you in question you know of if this job it maybe is not the right job for you you can't identify that in people so we're gonna have to not have you um assess these people or maybe you have a 100 assess access rate with people who have done one thing but this this in particular instance of someone doing something different you weren't able to assess that so that position shouldn't be for you maybe they can focus it on uh a different category that you've always had 100 100 percent success rate with identifying that these people will not commit this uh, offense again right hope that all makes sense this episode i feel like is going a little bit deeper than i have it with my other episodes but it's important because uh a lot of this stuff is kind of in place, but it's it's still different. And by having those 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 different little systems that we're trying to create um, in order to make a functioning society with people um, without oppression and a just world, a just existence for everyone, right? That's when that's when we kind of have to dive more into these details, so that we don't. Um, we don't just create something really like halfway and there's flaws in the system and stuff like that. So I think it's important to understand that, you know, we need to completely get rid of prison system, jail system, all that stuff. Um, we need to have a rehabilitation center for those people who do not want to go to a different group that believes the same thing that they want to. They want to be reintegrated into that society. And and really, that's what it, it takes. So, so let's say somebody uh, somebody hits someone, right? And so, you know, assault in that society is wrong. They want to stay there. They made that mistake. They let their, you know, ish, their anger get the hold of them, and they lashed out in that way, maybe. I'm just saying that's a, a possible scenario. So... They committed the crime. We documented that they committed the crime, right? Or the offense, right? And because of that, they go to the rehabilitation center, right? As long as you have proof that that was committed, which we should with all the recordings, have proof that that's committed, send them to the rehabilitation center. Rehabilitation center, they get their own room. They don't interact with anyone other than the staff. It's, everything is recorded. All their interactions are recorded. And the staff is able to assess someone and value, look at them and say, okay, this is, you know, you know, at any time they can say, I can't change. I'm going to go here. But the staff can say, okay, um, if that's what you want to do, that's what we'll allow you to do. However, if that person says they want to stay there and they want to work through it, you know, you dive into those things. You figure out why did this person do this? And they work with you, they develop, and you understand it. One, someone could just... It could have been a real random occurrence, right? And they could feel very so a lot of remorse for what they did. And it could that transformation, and you know, with these professionals who are able to identify, you know, people's um, intentions and understandings of why they did this, and we look back at all their recordings and everything like that, and be like, yeah, I mean, like. This really just does, seems like a, a one-time situation. That person could be in that habilitation center for a short amount of time, right? And there could be someone else who gets there and they're like, they just can't control how they feel. You know, they want to go back, but they're just, they don't know why they did it. They can't understand it. They can't acknowledge it. Um, we look back at their history, and it's like, okay, well, you've done this multiple times, or it seems like you get to these points where you could be getting there, right? And and that's that's where we're not really sure that if we sent allow you to come back right now at this moment, that you'll be able to, you know, deal with that. So, you know, these are exercises we're going to work on. These are things we're going to talk about. And that person can look, those people, those professionals can look at that person's entire history, their life history, and say, like, you know, like, 
these these things that you're doing these you know this is what's triggering this stuff this is the why you're why you're getting into these situations so we're able to identify um help and rehabilitate that person back into society and that those people that like can't let go can't understand won't acknowledge it won't accept it you know though those people may be in there a lot longer a lot longer and there might even be people that just they just will not accept it they don't want to go somewhere else they don't want to live somewhere else they they want to they want to fix who they are they that that thing they want to live in that society they want to be re habilitated back into that society but they just can't let go of that right and you know that could be um people that commit like uh various serious offenses right um where they just they will not acknowledge you know like um no what i did was was right and just you know and no matter what videos you show them and all that kind of stuff um you know, that, that might be the case. And that's where we get into that situation of, okay, do we keep them here? You know, ideally you always want to rehab rehabilitate if that's what that person wants to do, if that person wants to stay there and, and be back into that society. That's when you look at like, okay, are they right? Do we need to change laws? Is, you know, are they being just and wrongly in prison because what they did is, is morally right? Um, you know, and allow them to have those those talks with, you know, politicians, judges, all these all these work people, all these uh, professionals in that society that um, that are making the the belief of that society. Really, that's what you're creating with laws and all that stuff. Is you're creating a common belief structure, you know, social norms, all that kind of stuff. So that's when you got to look at that stuff and say, you know, like, yeah, they did this act and they won't change. They don't want to change. They're saying that we're all messed up because that act is not right. Um, and, you know, or that one person that they did that thing to, like, we can, we can look back from episode one, you know, if that's the structure that you put in place in your area, town, city, uh, nation, all that kind of stuff. You're able to identify that, see that, and through all that stuff, you're able to make that right decision of like, wow, they did this thing that we thought was horrible, but now after looking at it from a you know un unbiased perspective, which is tough when everyone has this, when everyone in the society has that same belief, right? It's very tough to have that unbiasedness, but it can exist, right? And that's the people, the people that are able to do that better, those are the people that should be put in those positions, all right? And that's, that's something, too, that you got to kind of grasp and look at is, like, currently in a lot of areas, societies, groups, and all that kind of stuff, right, we allow people to be in positions based off of, you know, what they've studied and learned, which is pretty much common practice, and it makes sense, right? You don't want to have people who don't know those things, but not only, learning isn't the only thing. Because, so I, this is uh, the first time I think I'm going to be saying it um, here, but there's two ways to learn something, okay? So you can learn from, and this is kind of sidetracking a little bit, but I think it's important uh, for this. There's two ways to learn something, right? You can either learn from previous knowledge, which is like your books, um, teachings from other people, all that kind of stuff. Or you can learn through trial and error. There's those two ways to learn something, right? Now, there's only one way to know something, right? And that's through trial and error, okay? So an example of that, so that doesn't go over anyone's head, so that's not too confusing, right? So I can, from previous knowledge, I can be told that touching something that is very hot will burn me, right? I can be told that. I can maybe even see somebody else doing that, okay? But I still don't know for a fact that that is true until 
have previous knowledge. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Until I do the trial and error myself. So until I touch something that is hot and realize that it burns me, that is when I now know. I've learned that before. I've learned that, and now I had the experience of it, the trial and error of it, to know. So there's only one way to know something, and that's actually going through the trial and error. Currently in a lot of places, we have a lot of people that have learned a lot of things through previous knowledge, but they do not know a lot of things, right? They don't know a lot because they've never gone that extra step. And a lot of society says that that's not necessary to go that extra step of knowing, right? And for a lot of things like you don't want to know, like we shouldn't, we believe, you know, most commonly that if you die, you no longer exist in this realm of existence, right? That will not be known until that happens, but it's not an experiment of trial and error that you should see out if that that should make sense to everyone right so same with burning yourself right but it's a fine line because let's say somebody says okay well um doing this one act is wrong everyone t teaches you know hey it's wrong to do this one thing right and we're like okay we accept I, you told me that it's wrong this is previous knowledge i'm learning that what you're saying is wrong, is wrong, right? And I'm saying that I see someone who did that wrong thing and I saw a bad consequence from it. So I'm still in the previous knowledge, right? And that all makes sense. But now let's say that that person says, well, I've did this, I've done this, and it's not wrong. Now this person knows from their perspective that that action that was previously taught to them Previous knowledge that they learned was wrong, and um, previous knowledge they've seen before of someone else maybe doing this thing and having a negative uh, response to it. But now, from themselves, they now know. And if we're able, from episode one, if we're able to record everything and do all that stuff, we'd be able to see that too and be like, oh, okay, so that isn't wrong, but sometimes it can be, right? And now, as a combined uh, educated people, educated isn't the right word, but combined um, knowledgeable people, right? And still knowledge is only through experience. So learned people, we now learned that there are different, um, there are different ways that some things may be right in certain situations or with certain people and some things may be wrong. For different people you know so that that there's there's that situ individual perspective that needs to be obtained and can be obtained and for those instances that's when you acknowledge things and maybe change laws and and do all that stuff and maybe release this per after that laws changed you know maybe release this person back into society and that society as a whole has now developed and and came to a new common understanding you know, and that kind of stuff can be displayed like, hey, this is what we've been teaching. This is what we've learned. And it turns out this entire time, all this stuff that we've been teaching and learned isn't 100 percent accurate. In some cases, it may be. But we can't say that we can't limit you from doing these things anymore because some people don't behave that way. Some people do not experience the same thing. So we now know that or we now have learned from this other person's experiences, this trial and error that this other person did, that it can be in certain situations okay. So we're not going to limit you, but we are going to provide precautions for people because some people act differently than other people if they're doing this one thing, right? And hopefully that's not too complicated for everyone to grasp. Hopefully that I've, I've explained that enough and used a, a good enough example that everyone can kind of understand that. So to sum it all up, to, to kind of um, go over everything, ideally you 
we eliminate all prison systems, right? Everything is recorded. Um, if somebody commits a offense that is against the societal belief, if it's financial, they just continue in society and pay back that financial thing, hardship. Um, if it's, uh, if it's, uh, belief or action or anything like that, that needs to be changed in order to be back in society, they can either go somewhere else, you can send them somewhere else where that action is not seen as wrong, or you can allow them to be rehabilitated in society where they're staying by themselves, self-reflecting, you know, not incorporated in any sort of prison society or any sort of rehabilitation society, right? And you're assessing them until they go back and are integrated back into society, all right? Um, there's a few areas that you can play around with, with that. Uh, it's, nego I guess, kind of could be negotiable um, on... Um, well, segregation is... It's interesting, and I think this isn't the episode that I want to talk about it, but there could be different options of potentially if people... See, but you wouldn't want to, you wouldn't want to put, so what I'm trying to think right now is, and this is off the cuff, right? Um, if it would be okay, because I'm sure a lot of people would have this question of all these people committed the same offense. Why can't they integrate with each other? Well, that's the problem is they're trying to, they're going to have that same belief. They're going to talk to everyone and they're going to, they're going to create their own kind of system of, you know what? We all think the same. These people don't, right? And that's not what you're trying to achieve with that rehabilitation. So you're trying to put them into with a group that doesn't, you're trying to put them back into the group that thinks the same and you're n trying to get them away from that group that has that other one. You know, if that if if somebody wants to be in that group, that's when you send them somewhere else to a different society or a different group and all that kind of stuff, right? So that's the importance of not integrating them into a prison society, rehabilitation society, peer groups or groupings or anything like that, right? Where they're um, integrating and, you know, you're trying to give them that social, like, justice. Like, that's not... They're, them fixing themselves, their beliefs, their thoughts, and going back into society, that's what's good for them, okay? Not, you know, not being able to them they're in there they're in the rehabilitation center because of that belief that the thought and everything like that and to put them with other people and then to think that that's okay for them to be with other people that have that same belief and thought when you're trying to change that it's not going to work at least it's not going to work um as efficiently as if you keep them separated and keep them talking with the staff and working with the staff and looking over reviewing their videos and their archives and looking at these incidences that pertain to that event and that thought and that belief structure that got them there and allow them to acknowledge that and move them back into society. So hopefully <laughs> this video uh, this is a lot deeper than I have gone in any of my other videos, right? But this is the next step for us all um, to eliminate a prison system to allow people to leave, live freely, to not oppress people, to not abuse these prison systems, right? Um, where you're not having these people in these rehabilitation centers work for you. They're not working. They're not, all they're doing is reflecting on themselves, talking to these counselors or these, however, whoever you have in these rehabilitation centers, right? You're not, you're not allowing them to, to do work of any sort because that's that's not why they're there. If they were, if you're saying that they're you're putting them in this prison, you're putting them in this rehabilitation center, right? Because you don't believe that they're capable of doing the normal day to day things, you know, whatever it may be. That's why you're doing that. So you we need to accept that all those things that you're doing of a, allowing them to like work or do all that stuff, like. That's not, not right. 
you're, they're here to fix that issue. Once that issue is fixed, that's the focus of them being there. They shouldn't stay there any longer than what's there to fix that issue. And unfortunately, while they're there, they don't experience their normal day-to-day -day things, right? And if they want to go back to experiencing those things, then they need to be rehabilitated. And that's when they go back. So that's why we keep them by themselves. That's why we don't allow them to, uh, we don't, because really any sort of prison system that has people work, even if they're paying them a certain amount of money or something like that, that, and I don't want to get into it, but it's not just, it's very unjust. And there's a whole nother group there's a whole nother issue there, but I don't want to get into it on this episode. But it is completely unjust to imprison someone and then have them work for either no money, that is horribly wrong, or uh, little money. That in itself is wrong too. Because pretty much you're saying that they're able to be back in society, and that's not the case for a lot of that situations. Um, same with letting people integrate with each other. It's not a good system. doesn't work. It needs to be fixed, and that's why we're doing this episode. And that's why I spent the time to hopefully fix and explain so that everyone, we're all on that same, you know, common understanding of, yes, the prison system is wrong, unjust, unfair. It's not goal-oriented in order to bring people back into society. And really, it's there to just kind of um, close your eyes to the fact that, well, this person said this that they should be kept here for this amount of time, and let's, they're here for that amount of time, so everything's just good, right? And I know it's not that simple, right? I'm definitely making it more simple. There's the other things that happen in that time frame and other assessments that already exist. The system pretty much already exists, but I'm, I'm just tweaking it, redefining it, and we're all having that common understanding that the best thing to do is to turn these prison systems into rehabilitation systems, uh, centers, and to allow. And this gives you the opportunity to use these rehabilitation centers for other societal issues, right? Like everyone in a society may believe that you should own a home. You should live somewhere nice, right? And there's certain people in that society that don't have that belief. They think that it is okay for them to live on the street, right? Well, they can go into these rehabilitation centers and we can identify what that is causing that issue, right? And maybe they want to do that. That's what they want to do. They're not going to change that. And they say, I don't even want to live in this area anymore. I want to live with some people that have that. And we can send them to an area that has that belief structure, right? So there's this can solve so much more than just what the prison system is, right? And this is the next step in in understanding and moving past this wrongness that we've created through our norms and societal practice of imprisonment. It's, it's not the right thing, and this rehabilitation is, is the next step. So hopefully that didn't go over too many to anyone's head hopefully that that's understandable that we all now understand that this is the next step and this is what we got to work towards um reform and you can do this at you know your small little town uh community country the entire world eventually right uh but you can do this as small as like just any kind of group that you're in you know like that's that's the end goal of it is to like identify and rehabilitate okay